Well, hello guys. I'm getting ready to do something different, something I've never done before. Uh, it's Friday night. Uh, I've been working in the barn a little bit and decided to do something a little different. Uh, this different. <laughs> this is a pistol uh, that I bought. God, it's been over 30 years ago at a farm auction that uh, I just bought it just for the heck of it. It looked neat. Now, you can't see it, but it says the name of it is T-A-R-R-A. -R -R Tara. Tarza. What I thought it said. I never could find any information out on it. Uh, and it was never really easy to see the uh, caliber I was told it was 32 now the problem I had when I bought it I bought ammunition this is the barrel and this is what I ran into I bought a box of supposed 32's 32 auto and this is what I got they won't fit it would shoot some and then it would jam. It would fire some, then it would jam. I uh, bought a, I don't even remember how many was in the box, but they all did that. You know, they just, they won't go in. Well, at the show last weekend, uh, the Oliver show I went to, there was a gun show next door. And they had Browning. 32 automatic, 7.65. Uh, uh, huh, I can't even pronounce it. For chat, for, or, ah, heck, I'm not even going to try. It's made in uh, Italy. I'll get it out yet. But I bought these, put them in, they drop right in. So, I thought to myself, self, we got to try this. Now, I loaded my clips up, and to tell you the truth, I haven't fired this. But, a little about the gun that I found rather interesting. Um, I know it's Spanish made, and was looking and looking and looking for, you know, information about it. And I happened to come across a website talking about uh, early 1900 stuff that was made in Spain that the lettering gets a little funky. Uh, what I thought was a T, and I really wish you could really see that, because it looks like a capital T. It's not a T, it's an I. So, I typed that into the computer, and lo and behold, I come up with all kinds of interesting things about this gun. Uh, what it is, it is a copy, a direct copy, of a 1903 Browning 32 automatic. I mean, it just, <laughs> in Spain, the patents at that time... Uh, from what I understand and read, it says that they're good for three years. And after three years, I guess anybody can make anything. But the interesting thing about this one is, it was made in Spain, and by the proof marks, and I really wish you could see them, there's two stars right here and right here stamped into it what that means is this was sold to the French military for use in World War one uh, by the serial number what I've been able to gather it's about a 1915 roughly model uh, 
and I can't even pronounce it. I Z A R R A Izira. I hope I pronounced that somewhat close, but uh, I haven't fired it since I got this new ammunition, so that's what we're going to do. So let me set you down here, show you how easy this is to put the barrel in. Now, well, come on. That's it. Clips in. She's live. So, let's see if I can hit a target out there about, uh, I don't know, 50 feet. Walk over here. This should be interesting. I've never fired this with this ammunition. Well, that's the first. Now we'll walk down here and see how many times I actually hit it if I hit it any. No, I hit it once. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. <laughs> well, I hit it seven, six times out of seven. That ain't bad. We're not ever really shooting. That's the most I ever shot the gun, to tell you the truth. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of fun. Now I wonder if I can find my brass. Doubt it. Oh well. That's kind of a fun little gun to have. Uh, even got the guy I used to work with give me a holster. Uh, he took his garbage out one day, setting it out, and this was laying on the ground. And brought it in and gave it to me and said, can you use it? I thought, well, I don't know. But... Fits it like a glove. <laughs> oh, one of the reasons I can tell this is a 1915. Uh, the later models, the safety here when it's up. Uh, the French, after like the first two months of getting these, had them put a big rivet right here. Because when it went into their holsters, it would click the safety off when they put it in, and it would accidentally discharge in the holster. So, <laughs> they had to make that change. So, that's one reason I know it's, a, it's an early model gun. So, But, I thought you guys would enjoy this. This is something different. At any rate, guys, if you like, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.